channel. Um, <clears throat> I have like 15 minutes um, of downtime before I have to go to a meeting and then um, have a little bit of time before I have to go work. So I figured I would make um, one of the videos that I was wanting to make for you guys um, while I have some downtime. So um, this video, if you can already tell by the title, is going to be a update on um, the child support slash visitation, I guess, situation um, with uh, Jay Marie's dad. So basically to start, I'm sorry, my head itches. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to start off by saying, um, or I guess by giving you guys a little bit of backstory. Um, I am living in Kentucky right now with Jay Marie. This is where I grew up, um, and this is also where I was born. Um, I, after I had Jay Marie, I did move to North Carolina, and that were, that's where I was um, for the first year and like three months of Jay Marie's life. Um, I was living in North Carolina with my dad. Um, and, um, Jay Marie's dad lives here in Kentucky. So, um, we were doing kind of like a once a month visitation situation with her where I would basically drive down here to Kentucky and he would get her for like a weekend. Um, and I didn't really get any help with that. I was basically doing that because I didn't want... If I were to move back here or if, you know, on down the line we decided to do longer visitation periods, her to be shipped off somewhere where she didn't know anybody, she didn't know where she was, who she was with, and all that she knew was that the people that she is used to seeing every single day, i.e. me, my sister, and my dad, were no longer there. So, um, that's basically why I did that. Um, and while I was living in North Carolina, we had to do something that was called like an interstate uh, child support agreement, which basically was they gave us a number that he was supposed to pay every month, and he would have to go like downtown here in Kentucky to pay that every month, and um, then it would get like transferred to like this debit card that I had. Um, and basically, if he didn't pay, uh, it's not like the state was going to come after him until it was like a certain amount. Um, like a certain, it was a large amount, a certain amount that he was behind that they would actually go and try and seek him out for me. So it wasn't the best of situations just because I never knew when I was going to get the child support. I never knew if I was going to get it. Um, and basically he would just pay it if he had it. And if he did it, he did it. And if he only had half of it, he would pay half of it. And um, so it's not, it wasn't anything that I could count on to help me, you know, support her with. So... Um, basically, the majority of the time after I got my GED while I was living in North Carolina, I was working to pay for Jay Marie's daycare, basically, and have leftover money just to get, like, diapers and necessities. And that's what I was doing. I didn't have, like, um, you know, extra money or extra time, really, to be doing anything else. So, um, so I was, basically, I was working, um, full-time to pay for her daycare by myself as well as just necessity items. Um, so then I decided that I wanted to get back in school. So here in Kentucky, I enrolled in a program um, that is for single parents, uh, mom, moms or dads that have full custody of their kids that wanna be back in school full time. Um, in this program, it helps you with housing as well as it helps you with childcare um, as long as you are in school full time as well as um, there's like some other requirements and stuff like you have to keep your grades up and stuff like that. Um, so I enrolled in this program and it took me about five months or so to get um, accepted and then in between like visits down here I had to do like paperwork at their office and get um, tons of other stuff done. Um, so it was kind of a long process. It took me about five or six months after I began the process to actually get accepted. And then it took another month or so, month, month and a half after I'd already moved back to Kentucky to actually get our apartment. Now the situation that's in place now, because we're not interstate, obviously, um, we're in the same state. Um, there is a program here in Kentucky called KTAP which is like a child support program where basically 
um, the state picks up the case for me and I get paid my child support for Jay Marie. It's a set amount every month. I get paid the child support the first of every month, no matter what. And basically, if he's not working and not paying, the state takes over it for me, so it's not like I have to track him down. They track him down, and they make him pay. So it's basically like he's paying them to pay me. And if he's not doing what he has to, what he's supposed to do, I still um, get the support that I need for her, and then that's something that he has to take care of uh, with the state. So, and it's, it's helping me, you know, be allowed to be in school, um, to be able to, like, you know, depend on that coming. So, um, if you're a single mom and you have kids and, you know, dad isn't being as reliable as he should be, check and see if there's some sort of program like that, especially if you want to be in school, especially if, you know, you're young and you have other things that you have to finish, not only for yourself, but to improve um, you know, your kid's future. So that's something I think important to check into. Um, it's getting, it's, it's going pretty well. Um, he's seeing her depending on when his off days are, I guess. Um, maybe like three, two or three times a week. Um, it, we had a little problem a couple of weeks ago where he hadn't seen her for like two weeks. And I'm like, I'm down here. I don't see why, and I don't even live five minutes from you. I don't see why you don't want to see her. And his reason was kind of because he has to work. And I'm like, you're working part-time. You're not even working full-time. So that's not a good enough reason. So, anyways, um, so... Yeah, but we're past that. So basically visitation, we don't have like a vis set visitation schedule. Um, now that I'm getting, I'll tell you more about this, but now that I've gotten a work study, um, that might be something that we need to look into just because I need like set days almost where I know that I can do grocery shopping, clean, homework, study, and you know, do all the other things that us as moms need to do without the distraction of having her. So uh, also with the child support that I'm getting, um, in order to get that from, like to have the state pay you that and then them pick up your case so that you don't really have to like, I don't have to argue with him and deal with him about it. I have to be in school full time as well as I have to do 20 hours of, a, of another activity is what they say. So basically you have to work 20 hours as well. So, um, I had been waiting to get a work study, um, through my college, which is like a job that they try and help you find in the field that you are wanting to study. Um, my status is pending right now just because I have two semesters worth of, like, prerequisites, like science and math classes and stuff that I have to do before I can get accepted into the dental hygiene program at my college. Um, so, um, so I'm, like, pre- dental hygiene, I guess you could say. Um, so the um, work study, like, worker woman that tries to help uh, students and stuff at my college, um, she had been talking to other dentists, the dentist office and stuff, dentist's office, offices <laughs> around the area um, to see, you know, if they would take a student. Um, so it's kind of like an internship, but I get a paycheck for it. Um, you don't get nearly as much as you would get paid if you were getting if you were working that job. So basically it's like you're getting paid um, minimum wage to not only um, you know get a paycheck to help you make ends meet better but as well as um, you get to you know be in the field of study that you want to go into and make sure that that's something that you know that you really are interested in that you want to do. I don't know I I want, the purpose of this video was basically just to update you guys on what's going on. I have loads and plenty of I, of advice and opinions and um, ideas of, you know, for you other single moms out there that might be having some struggles and woes with your children's fathers, um, you know, to get them to help financially. Um, because it's really not freaking easy. It's not easy. Well, you know, if anybody needs any advice or you have any questions or anything about it, please send me, like, a message or a comment if you want other people to know the answer to the question, too. And I'll try and give you some advice about it. If not, if it's, like, 
you know, something that's like a subject big enough that maybe I can make another video about this, um, I definitely will. Anyways, everything is good. Um, we're getting situated now. Things are getting better. Money's getting better. Um, visitation is getting better now. This past, like, week or so, he's actually going to watch her tonight so that I can go do my last day of that marketing job. So, yeah. So, deep breath. Um... Yeah, so like I said, uh, comment below if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I think it's really cool that people watch my videos. I got a few comments on um, my recipe video, and that was cool. I just, I don't know, I like hearing from you guys. It's cool to know that I'm not just talking to my um, black camera here, but I actually am talking to some people, and that you guys, like, care what I have to say, I guess. So, um, subscribe, comment, whatever, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which is going to be Jay Marie's update video, and then after that, I do have a day in the life set for you guys, so see you in my next video.